four letters that we're gonna talk about right now. C O O L. Cool. Why is that? Because there's so much cool tech here at CES. It's been honestly overwhelming. What yeah. did you see today? No, no, it's so cool. It's cooler than the polar bear's toenail. It's cooler than the snap. Cold snap? It's cold snap. It's also cooler than the other side of my pillow. Is that cool here at CES? Cool tech coming up. It's cool, right? Super cool. Cool. Cool, dude. We're always looking for things that catch our eye here at CES 2024. We're here in the vehicle tech section and nothing's gonna catch your eye even more than a hot red concept CLA class for Mercedes-Benz. Now, this is their entry level into this EV space, right? You have the EQS, which is like about two, three steps higher in the car class. Based on this modular architecture, there's gonna be four cars that are kind of based on this whole platform. You'll have the CLA class, you have a shooting brake, and you'll have two SUVs. You'll also have in this car, it'll be using their MBOS. This is Mercedes-Benz's operating system, so it's both hardware and software that they can adapt to the entire family. Now, if you look at this, this is not just a concept car. This is a car that we will be seeing officially premiering by the end of the year. They aren't giving us any official dates, but if you look at some of these design elements here on the CLA class, up front here, this is called the star panel, right? Typically, it's been a, you know, a pattern of stars that were physically metal. Well, what you see there now is it's actually individually lit LEDs. They can have fun patterns with it to kind of give this a little bit of personality. You can also see over here, the rims, very shiny, very modern, very futuristic. And then even the slopes, you see this metallic detail, this curve that goes from the door all the way to the hood. This looks like a sexy future car that I'd want to drive, but it's not in the future. This is going to be officially announced sometime by the end of the year. Also in this car, it has their next generation MMA electric drive system. So what is this? This is engineered specifically for electric efficiency. How many miles do you think you'd roughly get in it, right? Typically a car this size, when you look at it, maybe around 320, eh -eh, 466 miles. 466, That that is amazing. And obviously we'll have to see how it performs. Let's take a look at the interior. Modern like highlights, really cool details on the chairs. You got the dash again that features the Mercedes-Benz OS, but this is a car that doesn't not only feels modern, it feels like it's like five years ahead of what we're looking at just from a design element. What can we expect? Again, end of the year, no pricing, no availability, but the world premiere will happen. But this car, the Concept CLA class is coming in 2024. There's one thing missing from all of the wearables that I currently have on right now, and that is blood pressure. Well, Charm Care is here, and they have solved this issue. So I love this because it's it's small, it's portable, and it's compact, and you can just wear it on your wrist. You can think of it as a conventional blood pressure monitor, but we can read the signal artery from the wrist. So that's how we can downside the cup like this. It's very light and very easy to measure. Cool, can I try it? Yeah, sure. Okay, great. Now does this connect to an app? Yes. Okay. It has a Bluetooth. Cup should be located on your radio artery here. Mm -hmm. Now is this something that I can wear all day long? All day long. Okay. So try to relax like this. Okay. And then make it, make the device to your heart level. Like this. Okay. And press the button. So I can feel the pressure now, so it's kind of inflating slightly, you know, like those normal traditional blood pressure monitors, but it's on my wrist. Now, how long does it usually take? Uh, less than a minute. Cool. Oh, it just vibrated. Okay, so it's 111 over 65, and my heart rate is 70. I do normally have a pretty low blood pressure, so it's pretty accurate. So is this already out, or is it something that's coming uh, soon? We just started selling in Korea, and we are still working on FDA right now. Amazing. It's awesome. I cannot wait until it comes to the U.S. Okay, so we're here back at the gaming demos here at Samsung, but look, I know you can't really see what this display looks like right now, but this is Samsung's 2D, 3D gaming monitor. This is a tech demo here at CES. And what this is is basically, think of this as a lenticular display, but what makes this so crazy is there are actually two cameras up here. And what it's doing is it's using AI to track where my head is. It's using an AI to track where my eyes are. And then it's presenting the game to me in the optimal position so that I can play this game in 3D without glasses. And we know that there have been some 3D displays on the market before, 
but I gotta tell you, the way that this looks, how immersive it is, the resolution, the fidelity, the color, this is an incredible experience I think everyone is gonna wanna gravitate towards. I think everyone is gonna want a display like this. Now, this is not gonna be available anytime soon. Again, they're showcasing it as a tech demo, but here's another beautiful thing about this. Whether you're gaming, let's say you need to use this for an Excel spreadsheet, it'll automatically detect the content and then turn this into a pure 2D display. Or if you want to, you can manually switch between 3D and 2D. Sometimes maybe you don't want to see a game in 3D without glasses. You want to play it how you're used to. This display does it all. It's hard to explain just how incredible this looks. I even moved around. You can see it shifting the image. It is amazing as a tech demo. So one another cool things to see here at CS 2024. I'm gonna get back to gaming. Yay! We are at Insta360, and this is one of my favorite small portable action camera companies. Now, their name is Insta360. They've got a lot of 360 cameras, but actually their newest camera is this one. This is the Ace Pro, and this one's kind of interesting because it is co-engineered with Leica, and it shoots up to 8K, and I love that it has this little flip-up screen so you're able to actually see what you're filming. So they have a whole magnetic mounting system that makes it super easy to just magnetically attach this to different accessories. And of course, they've got their Insta360 selfie stick, now what makes Insta360 so incredible in my eyes is they have such amazing software on their phones that allow you to take all of the footage that you've shot and automatically edit it on the go. Now, Insta360 wouldn't be Insta360 without 360 cameras. We're actually not going to see a 360 camera just yet. We have got the Insta360 Go. Now they have the new Go 3 that just came out. Now the original one was this white one but they just came out with a matte black, which is so beautiful. So the little tiny camera is inside of this little housing. You can just pop this right off and you can mount it places. It has a little magnetic backing to it and they have all these really fun accessories. This is my favorite accessory though. Okay, everything's like mounted down so, so you don't run off with it here at the show floor, but this is a little necklace mount so you can wear it around your neck and you can wear it basically right here to get really cool first person action shots. They've got a little hat mount that I really love, so you can mount it right here on your hat. And if you want, you can use this as kind of like a little remote, so you're able to put this places and you can see the picture here. Okay, loading the preview, here it is! There I am, and it is cool because you can shoot in either vertical or horizontal. So depending upon how you have this framed, it'll automatically adjust. But I just love this little camera so much. It's come a long way since the first version. So I'm so excited to see that camera still in play. A little gimbal over here. Come see, come see. So this is the Insta360 Flow. This thing is so fun. And what I love about it is it's so small, it's portable, it's compact. And it also does have a little extender if you do want to make the selfie stick a little bit longer. But this is so much fun. And one of the things that I also like about Insta360 is they have so much AI built into these devices. They have this thing called Insta360 Flow State. So all of the footage that you're shooting on a lot of these devices, they're able to keep it so steady and the horizon is always straight and it's beautiful. The tracking is something that I'm obsessed with. As a sometimes solo creator, I'm able to trace myself and it'll keep me in the frame. Look at that. Oh, there you are. It's so, so great. Hello, hello, I am here. So I know I keep saying Insta360. We're finally gonna get to a 360 camera. Come see it. And here it is. Finally, we get to the 360 camera. This is the Insta360 X3. And with this, we're able to shoot really incredible 360 video. But why I love this is when you shoot 360, you can actually go back and reframe the shots. So if you're picturing this motorcycle scene here, I could be filming the back, I could be filming the front. So you can basically reframe anything that you want. But this is... Hi, Michael, hello! Hey! How are you? I heard a rumor you might be coming by. Yeah. And I made something very special for you. You want okay. to see it? Yes. Hang on one second. Uh, oh my goodness. Is this a life size this Insta360 is a, X3? This is a life size X3 camera. <gasps> and, and guess what? What? Might be your next Halloween costume. You want to try it on? This is a costume? You can put this thing on. Would you like to be an X3 for a minute? Honestly, that is a dream come true. Let's see how you look at it. All right, let's do it. So what do I just put it on? Oh, okay. okay, here we go. 
I hope I fit. Okay, I fit. All right, now put your arms out. Okay. <laughs> okay. I have to hand you a no smaller way. X3 on a gigantic selfie stick. Okay. Okay. How do you feel? Good. Go ahead. Can you hold my hand? Yes. Okay. One more step. All right. This is everything. CES, where dreams come true. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is the happiest moment of my life. Okay, I will send you this version, a new one, to your, to your, uh, to your house. Okay, thank you. She's back, everyone. Round of applause, everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Justine, it was such a pleasure. Oh my gosh, thank you for making my dreams come true. Thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate you. Oh, so good. I'm so happy. Now, you come out here to check out Vehicle Tech at CES 2024. A lot of times you see concepts, ideas, things that aren't actually happening, but you know, give us a glimpse into the future. But behind me, this is the Pebble Flow. This is its own thing. It is incredible. And I'm here with the CTO, Stefan. Pebble Flow is, from what I've seen so far, an incredible piece of technology. So I'd love for you to maybe tell us what we're looking at and uh, let's get into all the tech that's inside it. Absolutely. Yeah, uh, so we are looking at Pebble Flow. This is a fully electric uh, travel trailer. Really the idea behind the company is to resolve and erase all the hassles that RVs had to deal with for many, many decades. This is incredible because I've talked to people that are RV owners and they, they honestly kind of didn't believe it. They're like, oh no. And then when they saw some of the features of how you're addressing to make things even just more efficient for them, uh, they were blown away. Can we? Can you talk about the actual technology, let's say on the exterior of yeah. the Pebble Flow and, and what it involves? Absolutely. So let's start off with uh, the power. So this thing has a 45 kilowatt hour battery. Uh -huh. This is an EV battery, more or less the size of a Tesla Model 3, lithium iron phosphate. It's one of the safest battery technologies that you have on the market. We also put in two motors. So what this means is that the vehicle can actually move itself. Mm. This is really cool. But why are we doing this? We want to solve resolve the hassles. One of the biggest issues with travel trailers is backing it up. I have friends who are saying, I'm never gonna buy a travel trailer because I don't want people to just sit there and watch me trying to back this thing up. <laughs> uh, and and that's, that's a real concern because it's physics. Yeah. It's hard, it yeah. needs skills. Not with the Pebble Flow. You are using the Pebble app and this thing is remote controlled. So look at this space. There are very, very narrow pathways we remote controlled in the vehicle uh, at the beginning of the show. This thing came in here on its own feet. Oh, wow. And so also with those motors, I know when, let's say you have a truck, even an EV and you're towing something, because it's not really assisting it, that takes out a lot of the energy. So this helps assist as well? You're absolutely correct. So if you're looking at uh, the industry today, what happens is if you are having an electric vehicle, and you are trying to tow a 4,000, 5,000, 6,000 pound trailer with it, what happens is that you are losing more or less two thirds of your range. And this is all physics. What we are doing is we are using these uh, powerful motors, we are using the battery to help, to assist. We are not going to give you back the full 100% range that you have, but you will recuperate the majority of it. You mentioned solar panels on top. And I heard this can also be used as a battery backup for your home. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. With this large battery, what you can do is hooking up your home to it. Power goes out, now you have a full power bank that is an emergency power backup for your home. Auto hitching is also part of this as well. I mean, I'm not an RV owner, but they say, hey, that's a pain in the butt too. Oh, absolutely, <laughs> and, um, and, and, and I know it myself, and it's always doing it with my wife, she's helping me, she's uh, looking at the back and communicating, and, and you know, it, it is stressful, it is stressful. It doesn't need to be that way. So what you do is just push a button, and this vehicle will find your, your car, it detects your, your uh, hitch pole, goes there, connects all the way. Oh my goodness. Okay, you know, I'm already excited about the exterior, but uh, I'd love for you to kind of give me the grand tour inside. This looks amazing, and just kind of point out, also, I've never been inside one of these, but I gotta let you lead the way, okay? Yeah. All right, let's go, let's go inside. <laughs> this is the Pebble Flow interior. Uh, immediately what you see is a very nice open uh, space, light design, it's very Scandinavian design, very clean. Here on this side is the dinette. We can sit four or five people here. Actually, this is where we meet sometimes in the mornings. It's very, very uh, comfortable. 
and the good news is that if you take this table and you push it down it turns into a bed so you have two people on my side you know stretch legs it's not an issue you would push that down and, and it then it becomes a platform yeah exactly it's a platform you take the cushions you put it on pretty standard stuff then but this is big it's yeah. really big yeah. This is a really nice uh, kitchen area, chef's kitchen, and you have space. You really have space to work. No more propane. This is fully electric. This is a uh, induction cooktop. And one of my favorite features is that you just take it out and you can go and cook outside. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Speaking of cooking outside, we opened this up for you. So you have access, you can talk, you can be with your friends and yeah. with your family. Um, if you look at the appliances, really high quality, soft close on all of them you put a little push in pull yep. out just yep. like that look. exactly right and this is securing wow exactly right if you look up here uh you have lots of storage um over up up there down there can i do this is this a push it's the same it's the same thing it's the same thing it's the same thing it's the same thing oh my gosh i love it exactly right <laughs> so so this is the office area right you can have two people working here, playing or, or, or whatnot. Uh, we have a very nice uh, surface here if you want to project. Mm -hmm. uh, but what I'm most excited about is that this is a dual purpose. If you come out, well, I show you what it does. Okay, okay. In the evening, what you do is just you pull this one down and it turns into a queen size bed. <laughs> two people my size, not a problem. Very nice area can I again, jump on to the project. Bed? Please do. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is legit. This is legit. But there's a skylight here, so right? That's Your right. Resting. So you have a skylight there. Look at the stars. Yep. yep, yep. We want to make sure that this is very useful and multi-purpose, so you can use it in, in um, during the day for working next to your home as a ADU, like I said. Let's talk about the bathroom. So as you see, very, very nice design. It's all glass. Why is it glass? It's glass because it opens up the space. Now, there are some obvious privacy issues here, right? What we have done is we did this. It's, it's smart glass. So what happens is, <coughs> oh, what happens that's, is... Oh, that's so sick. Okay, uh, what happens, let's say, this is a silly question, but maybe if the... Not, not that there's a power outage, but yes, right? Is Please. there something yeah. along those lines? Yes. In this case, what happens is that when this fails, it needs to fail opaque. Just like you said, what if power goes out or whatever, what not happens, yeah. this thing will be opaque. Wow, that is incredible. Okay, so can you tell everyone when it will be available, pricing-wise and things of that nature? This product is already available for pre-order. It was since uh, a few months back. Uh, it starts at $109,000. That's where you get the battery and it's the base package really. And with $125,000, you get all the features and the motors, the assist, the moving around, the auto hitch. Uh, available on pebblelife.com. Start of production is end of this year. I'm blown away by this. I love the shower. I love the you know, modular way that this works in. A, this is classy, so Pebble Flow. Ugh, I gotta start saving. We're now with Gucci from DTA, and there is something under this massive cloth. Yeah. What's under here? I mean, we're used to unboxing, but can we do, was it unveilings? Yeah, for sure. Okay, okay. should we do it? Okay, all right. Okay. All right, so, do you okay. want to take one side? All right, right. three, Ready? two, two one. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> Ladies first. Shoddy. Shoddy go. pilot. All right. Wow. Perfect. Okay, I got my leg over here. Gonna... What? Yeah. Okay, this is sick. <laughs> Do you need a license for this? Uh, it will depend on the state you want to fly in, actually, but the machine is totally able to fly by its own. So is this a touchscreen? Yeah. Hey, Gucci, can you tell us about some of the technology here? We see, a, is it an eight propeller system? Eight um, propellers, eight motors, eight batteries, and uh, one parachute with a, a rocket actually on it. Wait, what, you so, said one parachute? There is one parachute for the war machine, meaning oh, that oh, if machine. something oh. happens... Not for us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, who's gonna, who's gonna share it? Yeah, that's hard one to say. parachute for the that machine. Is, that, 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 oh. You just have to pull that and the parachute will uh, will deploy and the war machine will land safely, actually. And we talk about like kind of safety aspects, like comparing this to other types of, I guess, flying vehicles. I mean, because this is a little bit different than anything I've ever seen. There are eight propellers, so it, it can fly on five, 
So meaning that you can lose three propellers, and in case of you lose two, two, too much propellers, then you just pull and you, you've got the parachute. So in terms of safety, I don't know something that is the same in the in right. stuff. What have you learned, you know, through taking this up in the air? What are some of the learnings you guys it's have? Just, it's the first time you don't pilot your airplane actually. Because if you want to move forward, you move. And if you, if you let everything, the machine stops in the three dimensions and it waits. Uh, if you try to fly an helicopter, that won't happen. Right. <laughs> it, ho so, it hovers in place when you don't do yeah, anything you're yeah, saying, right? So it's kind of like the FPV drones, like the DJI yeah, yeah, Avada, yeah. where you can put it into FPV mode, but it gives you that hover feeling. So you don't have to, as soon as you take your hands off the throttle, yeah. you're going to stay there. Is this available now? Like, what's the availability it will, like? It will be delivered in 2026. Okay. okay. And we, we are selling pre-orders right now. Oh, pre-order? Oh, I love when there's a pre-order. <laughs> what is the name of this? vehicle that we're in. It's an EV tall, so electrical, vertical, takeoff and landing. So if we wanted to do a test drive, <laughs> test fly, fly, where would we have to go? Next year at the CES, we will have a oh, spot really? in, the, in the desert and you will, you will be able to test okay. it. <laughs> we will be here. Um, we will get your info and we'll, we'll do a follow up for you guys. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much, Gucci. Thank you. Thank you. Gucci, Thanks you can so uh, close the windows now. We're going we're gonna to head on out of here. Jay, let's let's just go. All right. He, he's gone. So I'm going to be you. on my best yeah, behavior. No. Yeah. Let's go. Bye bye. Dude, okay. this is Sick. Hit it! Okay, go for it, go for it.